To be the greatest, you have to learn about the greatest. Picasso, Duchamp, Basquiat, Andy Warhol, Keith Haring, everybody. It's gonna take a lot of patience. It's not gonna come like this. It's not an overnight thing. I'm just a kid. I'm no better than anyone else, you know? Incredibly talented street artist. It's an up and coming young new artist. Skylar Gray. Skylar Gray's work. Skylar Gray, how are you doing tonight? Skylar Gray. Skylar Gray. Skylar Gray. And he was only 13. The kids live in the life. I see greatness. I don't foresee him stopping. He's just starting. If he's this good now, what can we say in the future? My name is Skylar Gray. I am an LA based street artist. I started off when I was nine. Baldwin Hills was a great place to grow up because <clears throat> there was a lot of my friends in the neighborhood. It wasn't a bad neighborhood either. But he's a very great kid. It don't really matter how old you are or what you need to do is just to work. Hard work pays off. You wouldn't even think that he was 14 years old. This corner means a lot to me, not just the corner. The whole neighborhood means a lot to me, everything. This is where I grew up. This is where the roots are. This is where everything began. I used to live right in the middle of the projects, in the middle of the million dollar homes. So what I really want to do with my art is I want to bridge these two together. And that's really it. I mean, this wouldn't be happening if it wasn't for my dad. He noticed something, he said, we better put this to work, we better do something with it. This wasn't like an easy process, you know? This wasn't something that was just given, you know? I mean, this is LA, who really wants to take the bus, but we had to catch the bus and catch the train to some places just to make it happen. At one point, we didn't have a car, so it was hard to transport all this stuff, and our car was super small. So we had to take the bus down to here, and we had to carry it down probably sometimes to the gallery, sometimes we'd have to take the train. I guess this place is a special place because this is the first apartment that I got after his mom passed away. It might be like three, four miles away, but it's like a world of difference. And so I was like really excited, you know, that I was able to, you know, as a single father, to secure a place uh, for my son that was in a better neighborhood. It was hard where we came from because it's, it's just a lot that we've been through to get where I am now. We didn't know anyone in the art game. We had to learn by ourselves. We had to search online. It was just like really hard for us. Like in the beginning and now that my career is actually going places, it just makes me feel good. It's like I accomplished something. A lot to learn. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to do. A lot of places I need to go. A lot of people I still want to meet. And there are still people, there are people that inspire me that I just want to me and say, hey man, you really inspire me. I would love to give back to my community. I would love to help kids and like just see where they're coming from. Just like I was young when I started. I was about nine or ten when I started and it doesn't matter how small you are, how big you are. It's like you can make a difference.